he's right on time just what the body of Christ needed you know what I love about him he's not ashamed of the gospel whether he's with Benny Hinn in some foreign country or on TBN he's still Pastor Donnie McClurkin saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost do speak with other tongues as the spirits give utterance <laughs> praise the Lord and sings my heart into fits Praise the Lord. I want you to stand on your feet at this time and receive this great dynamo, powerful man of God, Pastor Donnie McClurkin. Oh, I'm sorry. The choir is going to sing first. Please forgive me. I didn't. I'm sorry. The choir is going to come. And then immediately after the choir has finished, we'll stand again and receive the man of God. Oh, yes, we will. Praise the Lord. The devil is alive. We will stand and receive the man of God after the choir comes. Come now. Say amen as the choir comes. song to make it easy for Pastor McClurk and the minister. Amen. Amen. Anybody looking for a great word from him tonight?
up your heart, lift up your Let the people never be drawn to a personality. Let the people be blessed by you. Never impressed with me. Now, Lord God, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Never glad heart said amen. amen. Listen, everybody in this room, I just want you to take a deep breath and give God the best praise that you have right now. seated in the presence of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Um, go ahead to God. I honor the Lord for his kindness. And I thank him for his grace. Indeed, he is awesome. He, he is awesome. And there's nobody like Jesus anywhere. I love him with all of my heart. He is my God. And I put my trust in him. I honor him. 
honor him for being kind to me in spite of me, for loving me in spite of me, for forgiving me in spite of me, delivering me in spite of me, for healing me in spite of me. Hallelujah. For prospering me in spite of me. Because indeed, I've done enough to be disqualified totally. Mm. Indeed, I've done enough to be disqualified totally. But God, who is rich in mercy, God, who is rich in mercy, has constantly shown me that he is on my side. Not based on my feeble promises to him. For he knows with humans, promises are made to be broken. He knows that with the clay creatures that he calls his children, that a promise made is not always a promise kept. And God doesn't save us based on our promise to him. But he saved us based on his promise to us. Somebody thank him for salvation. And, 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 and let, me, let, me, let me qualify what I just said. He can't save us based on our promise to him. Because he said that we were born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Every word that comes out of our mouth the lies. He knows, good mother, we don't have the power to keep our promise. He knew when we first said, God, if you save this, we'll never do this again, that we were lying. You know, he knew it. And he didn't save us based on our promise of desperation. We didn't fool God because God knows the end from the beginning. But loves us anyway. So he didn't save us based on our feeble promise. How many of us have made a promise to God and broken it? Raise your hand. And if you didn't raise your hand, you're a liar. I am very serious. If you didn't raise your hand, it's because you just decided to lie. But God understands and he knows the feebleness of our frame. The Bible said he takes pity on us because of our feebleness. And he is so in love. God is so in love. Now, he doesn't wink his eye at sin. But he loves us in spite of. And he rebukes us. And he breaks me. He sets my bones. Sets me to a place where I have to hear him. And he takes such careful time and it is my privilege to stand up here and to tell you and declare to every one of you in this room that I love him more than life itself. And I'm learning how to love him more. I would not be, I would not be guilty of lying to you and tell you that I know how to love him. I do not know how to love him yet. There's too much of him to know how to love. I don't even know all of him. But what I do know about him, I love. Hallelujah. What I do know about him, I love. And I am in love with Jesus. Because he first loved me and purchased my salvation on me. He taught me that when I was a boy. The old saints would just say, oh,
personal devotion when I'm in a corporate setting because people don't understand they want you to be who they want you to be and I want you to know I'm not who you want me to be hallelujah and I can't sing to make you happy because if you wasn't happy before I sang you won't be happy after this is something between me and him so before I even give you anything that you're looking for, I give the first fruit to him. For he's the one that's worthy. Now the soul would be seated in their right mind in this room if it weren't for him. So I want everybody who's grateful to have a God like Jesus to give him praise from your spirit. Hallelujah. 
iglesia Aleluya Be seated in his presence I'm going to try to get through this I really am I'm going to try to get through this I'm going to try to get through this Somebody turn this up in the monitors this, this microphone up in these monitors I'm going to try to get Try to get through this and this is when it becomes difficult with me being a preacher because, you know, sometimes you just want to worship and you just got to know, you know, you got to know that you can't always do what you want to do when you want to do it. But uh, I just feel the presence of the Lord. A little more. I just feel the presence of the Lord and, and I just, it doesn't matter that it's a hotel. Because I've been preaching for the last two months that we, we, we've gotten things wrong. I honor the prelate, the presiding prelate the Church of God in Christ International, Bishop J.C. White. And please forgive me for being so bold as to say that everyone in this building should have stood because we are here by the graciousness and the vision that God has given to this man. And if you're in here and if you've registered, you need to stand and thank God for the presiding prelate of the Church of God in Christ and Christ's Come on, somebody give God praise for him. And don't even take a seat because we cannot honor the bishop without honoring the elder. Elder and Pastor Gloria White. And if you don't mind me saying, um, Pastor Gloria White, there is so much anointing that is in you. No, 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 hear me. There is so much anointing that is in geared. It's in you, but it's not for you. The anointing that he has placed in you and the anointing that drips from your entire being, not just your hands, is the very anointing that is going to destroy yokes on people that God sends to, sends to you all. There are many people that are waiting for deliverance, but they don't know how to go about it. They don't understand the supernatural manifestation of deliverance. And they don't understand the power of just someone who flows in the anointing, laying their hand on them and imparting into them the power to deliver them from any and everything that they go through. That is the power that you hold. That is the power that is yours, my dear. When you speak, the glory of God is revealed and the power of God is unleashed. But you've got, a, you have a relationship with God that is geared to transform people's lives. You've yet seen it. You've yet to see the true level of anointing that God is going to flow through you to his people. I am not one geared to prophecy, but I'm telling you what the Holy Spirit is telling me now. Sometimes we don't understand the gifts that God has given to us. Sometimes we take them for granted because we become so familiar with them. But you need to understand, every one of you here, that the anointing of God that is placed in this woman is of the caliber that will set people totally free from bondage. Somebody give God praise in the view. Stop the music. Somebody open your mouth and praise him. Hallelujah. Open. Bishop White, lay your hand. Bishop White, lay your hand in your wife's stomach right now, in her stomach. In the mighty name of the Lord that called her, the Lord Jesus that called her, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let that anointing increase. Somebody praise God right now. Shake this place with praise. Let the true worshiper raise up a praise that will shake this place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shabbat Shalom. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. 
Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Those very hands God's going to use to set many a boy and girl free. Those very hands God's going to use to deliver from depression, to breaking and destroying the yoke of the enemy off of people's lives. That is the power of God that he's invested in this great woman. One more time, put your hands together and tell God thank you. And to Bishop Carl Williams Jr., Secretary General, we thank God for you, sir. And all of you God's people, we honor you in your prospective places. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I am... I am not the Donnie I've used to be. God is doing something that is totally boggling my mind and I don't understand it. And I'm really not here to try to impress anybody because I have nothing left. I have nothing left. And all I can do is lean on him. Because he is the one that deserves all of the attention. He is the one that deserves all of our attention. Jesus Christ, him crucified. You know, and, and, and I've been on a tangent lately for the last two months. I have been, I've been greatly commissioned by God to the point where it makes me nervous sometimes. Because he's been sending me from church to church, from, from meeting to meeting.